by printbymagic.com. Printing playing cards and services for magicians. Hi guys, James Anthony here from magicworld.co.uk and today I am super excited, mega excited. Why? Because I'm reviewing Leviosa by Julio Montoro and uh, Jao Miranda. So uh, very excited to be reviewing this product. Uh, this is one that has been an absolute sellout. Uh, that being said, I've got some on the shelf. I'm one of the few magic shops in the UK that still has some of these available. Maybe not when you watch this video in a year's time, but right now they are. Uh, red versions as well. But let's get into the product itself. I'm going to show you in this review, me doing a live performance, a little clip here as well. I'm going to show you the trailer. I'm going to show you the price and go through any niggles or any little things that uh, may help you along the way as well. So first of all, the product is Leviosa by Julio Montoro. And um, this was a hit of a product to be shown at Blackpool, I think is when it first debuted. And uh, since then, it just got released last week and has been a phenomenon. It's been around all the social media and it's gone crazy. 161 pounds. So it's not uh, something you just throw a bit of cash at. It is something that I think you would buy if you take magic seriously. Maybe you're a professional performer. Uh, or you just want something really, really cool to wow people with. But generally, I think this is targeted at slightly more the professional market, uh, people who are getting paid to do magic. Either way, when I saw it, I had to have one myself, of course. So this is mine right here. Now, I'm going to say something straight up from uh, he says, this is uh, Jean Miranda, that when you get it out of the box, it's ready to perform. Of course, don't touch it until you've read all of the instructions. Now, I did exactly what it sold. I looked at the card. I watched the instructions on how to perform it out of the box, how to turn it off and on, and how to make sure it doesn't get tangled, that kind of thing. When I was sure, okay, I probably didn't watch as many videos as I should, but I watched the main one of what you do to make sure you don't break the thread. And uh, then I did it and touch wood, zero problems from the very beginning. It just worked out of the box. I was a bit scared pushing the button for the first time because it's all pre-programmed. Uh, but as I said, if, I follow, if you follow the instructions exactly as it comes, uh, it just worked beautifully. So let's have a little look at the trailer and then we're going to look at me performing it and uh, then we'll talk about some of the other finer parts. So here we go. This is the trailer. Oh, look at it levitating up right there. Let's put it on full screen. Um, Jam Miranda is, yeah. But Julio Montoro, Julio, it's Julio's trick. First, no, it's both, both Julio's trick. But Julio, I think, uh, was the creator of this originally. You know, the idea of it floating to the hand. And just look at this. So it just moves on its own. It's my favorite effect, the haunted deck, or one of my favorite effects. So to have it just float up to your hand like that is amazing. And then you wait a few moments. And then finally, the deck just flies up to your hand. I mean, it's a miracle. It's an absolute miracle. So that's the box. You can even show some of the cards as well. 100% self-contained. I agree with all of that. Um, yeah, it goes in the box. It's ready to perform again. Instant reset. Yes, it is instant reset. I'm just saying you can perform this immediately after it's been performed and go on to perform it at the next table and the next table and so on and so on. So there we go. I think that's enough for the trailer for now. Uh, it kind of tells you everything about this product. It's a haunted deck is where the deck moves, their card shoots out. And as a final kicker, uh, their card now, the whole deck just rises up to your hand casually. Then the deck is put into the box, put in your pocket. No, it cannot be examined. So don't expect that. Now, to perform this as you would as a worker, so you're doing weddings, corporate events, you'd have to add a few cards on top so that you can physically shuffle the cards. Being careful not to go too deep. You just add six or seven cards on top, shuffle them, and before you're ready to about to perform the trick, after they've selected the card, just palm those cards off as you go in your pocket for a pen. That's what Zhao does. So pretty easy to do. Uh, let's have a look now at me doing a little pre-record. The voice might be a little bit less in volume, uh, but who cares? Who cares? There we go. Just a small test to show this product. Here is the card. 
it goes in here like this and goes over. Now I'm ready. I push the button and it's red telling me that it's ready to go on the floor. We're going to cut it about here. Now we wait. We just wait. That's it. When we're ready, and only on our command, do we do this. It's like real magic. And then, of course, you can show the Ace of Diamonds to somebody, uh, give out their card, and then, on your command, you can make the cards just levitate up to your hand. So there we are. It is that good. And, um, yeah, it's, it's a tough one. I don't want to say too much on a review of, of the systems in place, of course. I hope I didn't say it just then. Uh, it's one of those things that... Um, I have to ask the question, if it levitates back up to your hand at the end, does it kind of give a bit away as to how the first part worked? That's the only logical thinking I sometimes think says. Uh, obviously, you know, some spectators might go to the idea that uh, thread, whatever may be used in this project, um, or at the end of your trick. And if you're doing haunted deck, maybe they don't. But then when it rises to the hand, do they then, does that help them believe that that's how the first part of the trick worked? So that's my only constructive thought on it. But other than that, it's too cool a trick to ignore. And I think uh, I've done this for various people just in the local pub. It blew him away. Uh, my colleague, Josh, blew him away. And he didn't immediately jump to how it worked. So I think it will depend on the audience you perform to. Some people will think one thing. Some people will think another. Hey, some people will think magnets. Some people will think you really have power. And that's what it's about. It's just, it's a fun trick. And it takes the haunted deck to another level. Now, one important part is I perform the haunted deck. I've been doing it my whole life with a spider pen by Yigo Masika. One of my favorite ways of doing it because I can be stood up a long way from the cards and I can make the cards move. So I can move it in and out. That's exactly what you can do with this. On top of that, uh, this has the movement. So the only downside is that you can't have like a slow movement first and then, then it jumps out. You can, but it's a lot of work. Um, so you're not as in control of the movement. It does it itself. However, um, I do believe that it is a really nice movement. The way the card moves out, the deck moves a little bit as well. Fantastic. So in terms of a product, would I recommend this 100%? If, I'm a, if you're a worker, um, if you're worried about thread and were worried about that kind of thing, just take that worry away. Um, my friend of mine, Sam Fitton, who said he never ever, well, he hates thread in general. He stays away from it. But this is straight in his repertoire. It's that good. Um, there are a few areas where I think as, as a working pro, it could have gone into a little bit more detail into how to perform this. For instance, I don't think I saw very much on the tutorial videos of how to add cards on top and how to palm them away but also how to deal with the audience and that kind of thing. So I wish that I'd seen a little bit more in the tutorial from Julio Montoro himself, because he's the guy that's been performing this at a million places. So there's no one better than him to teach you all the little handling techniques. Um, for instance, I think Sam mentioned this one to me, but uh, I mean, I found myself naturally to kind of do this. It's, it's to get yourself ready for this. You're, you have a reason, you've got to show the card, but you also have to get prepared. So I'm prepared now in the idea of just showing the card for the trick. But instead of just going down flat, kind of come down at an angle. If you come down at an angle, sorry, I'm not showing it on the thing, come down at an angle, it scoops much easier. If you do it flat, it doesn't get in very well. So little things like that, if they were shared by Julio, uh, then I think it would have just enhanced the product a little bit more. Hey, while I'm set up, I might as well perform the trick very quickly here as well. So I love the fact that now I know when I can put the cards down. So if I put the cards down, brilliant. And I can just cut the cards like this. Now, it is a waiting game. You don't know exactly when it's going to happen. You kind of time it in your head. I know that with energy, I can just kind of make it look like I know exactly when it's happening. So that part I'm not worried about. You can show the card and you can relax at this point. Now, the great part is from here, if I just, oh, I should be, 
I can't believe I just did the whole thing then. Ah! <laughs> with the wrong camera! I'm going to redo the whole thing again. I just did that all with the wrong camera. So, <laughs> um, so I'm going to push the button like this. Boom. And now I, I feel it. Now I know when to put the cards down. I'm going to put them on the table like this. And now it makes more sense, doesn't it? When the right camera is on, you know. Now if I just go to the close camera here, you'll be able to see it move for the first one. So I'm going to do that. And about now, it kind of does that. Brilliant. Now let's go back to this camera. Now you can move your hand freely. This card is their chosen card. But in your own time, whenever you want, you can kind of give it that sort of sign and it levitates up to your hand. You see, I'm performing this casually over and over again without any worry whatsoever of uh, the thread breaking. As long as you practice it, the thread will not break. And of course, at some point it will break and I'll go into that in a few moments time as well. Now, uh, another thing that uh, Sam mentioned would be that it would be quite nice to have an indicator of when the cards are going to come up to your hand. So, for instance, it could be programmed in that it kind of like gives a little bit of tension on your thumb to let you know that it's about to happen or something. So that you know at that moment the card's going to go up. You could even then add a flick. But you can't do that. You're kind of just waiting, uh, counting. And while you're talking and doing things, you don't want to lose track of that. That would be one little improvement. Now, you can program this yourself. However, it's probably that difficult. I don't think anybody will. If anyone does, it'll be a very small percentage of people. I know I can't be bothered uh, unless I really had a need to do it. Uh, I am not going to be changing the programming of this at all. It's just a bit complicated because you have to organize when it uh, pulls, when it doesn't, and the strength as well. So for it to do quite a long program, it's, it's fairly difficult. To do. So for me, I would stay away from that. If the thread breaks, uh, very easy, uh, but not in a live performance. So let's say you're doing. Um, a wedding, a corporate event, and it breaks. Uh, there's no way you're uh, replacing that while you're at the venue. I mean, uh, unless you have a break of 10, 15 minutes and you've got plenty of time to get your little kit out and do the work, but it's, a, you know, it's not that kind of thing. You, if it breaks, you've stopped doing it or buy two. Uh, that, that's my simple solution. Have another one ready to go if you're a pro. Uh, but yeah, the actual replacing of the thread will take anything between five and 10 minutes. Um, it's pretty easy to do. You just have to learn what buttons to push, do things carefully, uh, be careful not to break the motors, so be very careful how you take the spools off and on. Uh, but he goes through that in fairly, fairly in-depth on how to do it. Um, so there's a lot of pros to this. Very few cons. I can't really think of any cons. I mean, I love this. The, if it was more cosmetic, the only little cons I would think of is again something Sam mentioned, but I also totally agree with this. Not that I don't with the other things, I totally agree with those as well, otherwise I wouldn't be saying them. Um, the actual face card, uh, you can see tape. Now, it's a very little thing, and in most cases when you're performing, they're not, people are not going to be gluing their eyes on the cards. However, it would have been nice to not use tape and have it glued on um, so that it just cosmetically it resembles a deck of cards as close as possible. And exactly the same for the plastic card, which is underneath. The plastic card, again, has tape going down it. So when you're cutting the cards, it kind of is more noticeable if someone were to really, really, really burn the deck. I mean, it's practically invisible. I don't think any spectator would ever see it. But I'm just saying, I think it could have been made in a way that might have taken more time, and that's probably why they didn't do it. Probably easier to do the tape method, find the magnet locations, and so on. And there is a lot of complexity in the build. Um, I think Sam said he would happily pay another £100 if some of these little things were kind of niggled out and a bit more was put into that. Like, for instance, the uh, charging light goes is green when you plug it in, and then it goes off when it's charged, instead of... Uh, being, for instance, red, and then it goes green when it's charged. Little things like that, uh, which I think maybe if, if it was in the hands of a, several pros working it in front of people, maybe some of these things would have been covered a little bit more. Uh, but other than that, I'm not going to worry about that. I just wish maybe cosmetically the thread wasn't, uh, sorry, not the thread, the, uh, the tape wasn't quite as 
as visible or as you know as much of it is there but we're talking about little things here they are the only things that would stop this being an absolute blowout 10 out of 10 because it is practically in fact i was torn between giving it a 10 out of 10 and giving it a 9.5 out of 10 just because of those little things just the the seller tape and the little details that i've mentioned is why i'm not quite giving it a 10 but blimey neck it's close to it so let's give it a rating i've got the rating right here 9.5 out of 10 for oh my god paddle king no it's not paddle king i'm going to redo that over the top of it it is not paddle i did this i fixed it i put it in wait a minute so we've got the product leviosa by julio montoro and then just kind of like put your hand now over the paddle king section as i give the rating 9.5 out of 10 for leviosa 9.5 tenth out of leviosa <laughs> Oh my goodness, you know what? I'm not going to edit it. It takes too much time, and these review shows take a long time. You know the picture. <laughs> Paddle King, that was my mistake. My bad. But Leviosa, uh, if you've not seen the Paddle King review, make sure you check it out. It's a brilliant product as well. But in terms of a trick ready to go that will blow your audience's minds, um, that will make you feel like Harry Potter himself when performing it, then Leviosa is the product for you. Just to very quickly show you now what you get inside it. I know I should have done this maybe before giving the rating of 9.5 out of 10, uh, but you get loads of things. Let's go nice and close. You get loads of thread. The thread will last you for, well, a long, long, long time. You get a little screwdriver, the little circular stickers that you need. You get extra spools as well. Uh, you get a little thing for fishing the thread out whenever you need it. So you get everything you need inside here. Also, the video instructions, apart from the fact it doesn't have Julio on it, which I wish it did, uh, are very comprehensive. They go over everything. Um, my Another bit of advice is when you scoop up the, <clears throat> the magic and you put it on your thumb, just make sure you put it really deep onto your thumb. Put it as far back here as you can. Um, if you've never worked with thread before, you've got to kind of like, you've got to get a feel for it. But obviously, if you do that with your thumb, the trick is over you need to keep that like this and then practice being natural at moving your hands around and not letting it slip but not looking like your hands like this all the time so that's where the practice will come in i think for this trick um so yeah fantastic product comes with everything i think i've gone through everything with you if you have any questions at all leave them in the comments down below but that is the other thing when you or if you have bought this trick make sure you go to join the group. The group has loads of videos, interviews with Julio Montoro and lots more. And finally, I'm just going to tell you that we do have five of these in stock as of right this second. We bought a ton of them. We've got red ones in stock, which are sold out worldwide. So if you want to get your hands on one of these right now, they are available literally for immediate shipping. Now, if you also leave a comment at the end of the video, uh, just put YouTube, um, sorry, leave a comment on the purchase from our website in the link down below. Just put YouTube. We will give you upgrade it to free special next day delivery in the UK. So free next day special delivery. Just pay for your regular delivery and we will pay the extra difference. So there we go. Thank you very much. Leave your comments down below. Let us know what you think. If you've got a video reply you want to show us your uh, uh, performance of Leviosa, please again put it down below. We would love to see it. From myself, James Anthony, have a fantastic day. Bye-bye. Oh, and like and click subscribe. Don't forget, like, click subscribe, alert, and share.